Hey, welcome back to my playthrough of Last Frontier, the Vesuvius Incident with Ryan. Oh, here is the status after our last video. Um, we are on Orbital Decay Turn 13, have just explored the command pod, and uh, killed two aliens in that central corridor and found Pruitt alive. So we are starting a turn as an explore turn, and during the human action phase, during an explore turn, you have free reign to move um, anyone through any space controlled by people, as well as shuttle locks and the Marine shuttle uh, with no movement cost or anything like that. This represents a long period of time, uh, 10 seconds to two minutes, something like that. So the crew's got control of all this area. There's no, at this point in the game, there's no concern about aliens walking in. So they've got kind of time to do stuff. So we're in the zero G environment here, which doesn't, doesn't mean anything right now. Um, but since we're in the um, exploring during the human action phase. So Team 2 moves up there. Cowan's going to move up in that corridor with them. Team 3 over here in the command pod is going to leave, and they're going to roll up into the shuttle airlock. And then Norton needs to get over here into the command pod, and Coons is going to accompany him. One of the keys here is to not leave... Um, any Marines alone in a corridor or room, also known as a space, uh, during the human action phase. I believe, nope, sorry, during the alien action phase, we check for abduction, for human abduction, and you only do that if, if there's one active human only. There can be multiple inactive humans that are downed, for example, um, but as long as there's only one active human, you check for abduction, and we don't want to be in that position, so... All right, that's everything for our explore phase. We got people where we want them to hold, the ground we've gained. Um, alien action phase, there's no aliens, there's no human abduction, because we got at least two people in every space. Orbit phase, timer goes to 12. These three are going to enter engineering. Mo and Cowan will stay outside, cover that. Corridor, let's see. All four of these uh, Team 3 will deploy into the transport shuttle. And Norton makes his hacking attempt to retrieve the manifest, and because he's the hacker and the command pod, he has positive modifiers that guarantee success. Um, that would not be the case with anyone else. He grabs that manifest. That accounts for three of the crew. Object of the game, besides getting a high, high enough score, is... You can't leave the ship until you've accounted for uh, 15 crew. And that can be a combination of live or dead. So this moves over here. Anything else we, any other proof or evidence we have of dead crew members will go in that box as well. So we are up to four out of our 15 crew. Okay, and that is the orbit phase. I jumped in discovery phase here. Okay, so we roll for encounters. Um, in engineering, we get nothing, and we also get nothing in the transport shuttle. So we got kind of lucky there. I mean, you do want encounters. We need encounters to find crew, but uh, we'll mark those as explored. Now, whenever we enter, re-enter an explored space or a corridor, and there were not humans there at the beginning of the turn, we have to roll for an ambush. So what that means is once you've, you've been in a space... You're not, and you've checked it, you're not going to find any weapons, you're not going to find any more evidence of dead guys, you're not going to find tools. Um, the only thing you will find are aliens and possible crew that have wandered in there after you've left. So, okay, there we are, end of the discovery phase, nothing happened there. Another explore turn during the human action phase, so the rest, team two, will uh, concentrate at this hatch in engineering. Coons is going to move here to the lift car corridor. He'll help Cowan hold it. Norton is going to move from the command pod. We'll vacate that, and he'll move into the transport shuttle and help Team 3 hold that. And there we go. We've got two corridors held with two humans each, and then... Let's see, uh, Team 2 with 4 is in engineering, and Team 
three plus one other guy is in uh, shuttle one. So we're going to move along to the alien action phase. Don't have to check for human abduction because we have at least two in every space. And there are no hostiles. Okay, orbit phase. We are moving from 12 to 11. And these guys will deploy. I'm going to send two. Shanahan and Krauss deploy to the astrophysics lab. And Moen Lazitsky will stay there. Over here, I've got... I'm going to leave my heavy weapons here. I don't want to lose them, risk losing them this early to a bad encounter. We're going to, those three are going to deploy into the cargo bay, that shuttle. Now we roll for encounters and find, unfortunately, one alien loitering in the astrophysics lab, three spaces away from our two Marines, and then the three that entered the cargo bay of the shuttle walked right into a herbivore. Apparently the crew was uh, stowing, the herb stowing the herbivore in there on their uh, attempt to escape from all these aliens. So they've kind of walked into a herbivore. We've got one alien there. That was, sorry, we're in the discovery phase. Um, we roll for ambush. And because we are in the astrophysics lab and we are now aware of the threat, and we're in um, what was previously an undiscovered room, during the discovery phase, we have to roll a hard six to get surprised. However, we do that. So the alien moves toward us. Um, a jog in, uh, let's see, a zero G environment is worth two points. These are clear spaces, so one, two. It can run up to six spaces. However, if it runs, which it will do, it doesn't get to attack. So we're fortunate that while it's on top of us, it doesn't have the time to attack. The herbivore does not surprise the Marines there. So we are now going to move next turn, combat phase. So up here in the astrophysics lab, Krauss is going to move out, step out of that space, and fire back into it. And she hit one shot with her pistol. She hits the alien for no effect. Shanahan's going to double fire his pistol, and he gets two hits. One is a down result. So we're going to put that right here. Alien is currently down. Over here, we're going to have Brooks. He moves out of that space. Sorry about that. Fires into it once uh, with his pistol. No effect on the herbivore. Pattison's going to step out now. Coincy's going to fire her uh, assault rifle, double fired at the herbivore. She gets one hit out of those two shots, and that is a kill result. Herbivore's dead. So the only time an acid spray happens is when you get an alien that receives a K kill result. So if an alien is killed with um, two down results or an herbivore, and there's a couple other aliens, if they're killed with a K result, it uh, does not result in an acid spray. So um, that's why I use my rifle there. It's more lethal, and there are no consequences to... Um, killing something in the space you're in. So that was the human action phase. I'm not going to do anything with anyone else. I don't want to move Lazinski or Mo into that astrophysics lab because that would mean it would be nice to take another shot at that alien. Uh, but again, we don't want to kill result because it would spray. Um, since there would be at least one, one marine in that space. And then if we have less than one active marine in the space, they have to undergo a abduction check. So we'll keep people where they are. Alien action phase. Um, so because we didn't move anyone out to support there, we don't have to worry about rolling for abduction. The only thing left, and there's no active aliens that can attack. So we will roll to see if this downed alien recuperates. Sure enough, it is not dead, it is alive. So it had to roll a five or six. Uh, for it to come back alive, and it did so. Odds were in our favor, but uh, it's not. we didn't get what we wanted. So aliens alive, we roll for surprise. And again, a five or six is going to um, cause this, it's gonna cause the Marines to be surprised. So again, we roll unfortunately, and we got a six. It surprises the Marines, 
it attacks the closest Marine. Uh, Shanahan gets a six, which is a kill result. So unfortunately, the team leader is gone. Krauss watches her boss get ripped to shreds. Now she's alone with that alien. She has to conduct a panic check. Um, any human that watches another human get torn up by alien claws uh, may panic. She passes. She has a 50% chance to pass, and she does. So that is going to be the end of the alien action phase. Um, no orbit phase, and nothing is... Uh, we're not doing discovery right now. Back to another turn. Again, another combat turn. Human action phase. Krauss double fires her assault rifle, achieves a kill result, hits it, and she's a kill result. That is dead. One other thing. Um, quick go back here. At the very beginning of the human action phase, you check uh, panic for any humans that are alone in a room with at least one alien. So, again, she had to check panic basically uh, twice, two turns in a row, and she passes a second time as well. Shoots and kills this with her assault rifle. She's in a different space. So any acid spray does no harm to her. And that is going to be it, I believe. Oh, alien action phase. Move this up here. She's alone. Check for abduction. Uh... She's not abducted. Only one out of six uh, rolling hard one is going to result in abduction. So cross is safe. And nothing else to do this phase. Nothing else to do in orbit. Orbit phase is undercur during a combat turn. And we're not doing any discovery. So when we start our next turn, we are going to be on an explore turn. And that will allow us free movement wherever we have controlled space. So... Krauss could move all the way from the astrophysics lab down through here to the shuttle, for example. So I think what we're going to do, I don't like these spaces down here to explore. Um, too, too narrow, and really the astrophysics lab is a bad place too, but too narrow in here, you're likely to get an alien right on top of you if one, if one is located there. Same thing in storage. Drive room, also very dangerous, likely to get an alien on top of you, and if you miss, you hit the... Um, ships drives and bad things can happen if you miss the alien and destroy the ship's drive. So what we're probably going to do is concentrate everyone here in the lift shaft corridor, get them in some cars, and zoom them up into the ring and start exploring that work area up there. All right, well, we are uh, four, five full turns in, and uh, we have one casualty among the Marines and we have accounted for one live crew, so we still have 12 people on board and accounted for uh, three dead crew. So, oh, and then down here, he's KIA, and when a Marine or a human takes a, uh, is killed, the alien attack is assumed to have just destroyed or damaged weapons beyond repair. So, those are not available to anyone else. All right, well, we'll uh, catch up with you guys later on after we play a few more turns. Hope you enjoy.